Yo, what's happening guys, DDBR89 here, back with some more Dragon Ball Legends news here, tips and information. And today we are going to talk about, of course, Legends and April Fools. Now, this will be the third April Fools, it's only commencing in the next few days and we haven't had any hints of what they're planning to do to us what trickeries that they are planning to do to us so what we're going to do in this video guys is look through the previous events and try to speculate what may happen what may not happen are they going to overhaul it are they not even going to bother this year but first of all guys if you're new to the channel please make sure you do hit that subscribe button drop a like and make yourself known in the comments and if you want to go that little bit extra hit that join button and become a member of the beer fam and of course join our discord links are all in the description below so guys like i said we're going to have a little look back and run through of all of the type of events we had around of course april 1st for april fool's day so without further more let's crack on so the first one guys was of course the napper everyday one now this wasn't really much of an april fool's event it actually happened we actually did have a summons for this now they did bring and host or brag that we'll be getting several tickets or several packs to of course acquire Nappa everyday units now these were all the Nappa units that were from hero to extreme because that's all they had at that point in time and of course the Cybermen were jumping on this banner as well now we had the extreme one which has now been Zenkai so boom he would have been perfect now to get it now again if you haven't already Zenkai him and or buffed him up so this is how it pretty much went they gave us a start date which should have been the biggest giveaway going, which was of course the 1st of April till the 2nd of April. But not many people clued on to that one straight away and they all thought this event was legit because of course the Goku everyday banner we had. Now of course it did come around, like I said, April and we did actually get to summon this. They gave us one ticket on the login bonus and there you go. It tells us pretty much how um, you would acquire this. And you, like I said, you get one ticket every day and it was then the way it laid out was as if we were going to get several days worth of summoning and of course it would go you would require three characters one character three three one three one one so you would of course have to summon several times for it to of course get these units these were the units that were available on there and of course their drops you would get a 600 um z power napper you would get of course 600 uh z power cyberman 250 for both 100 for both as well so that was the first one it was a uh, sort of kick in the teeth but it wasn't really that bad it was just like a little joke you could tell after a while because napper wasn't really at this point in time wasn't really a big unit to play with wasn't really worth the grind but of course free tickets for free tickets for everyone so the first one we had of course was the first of uh, april 2019 once again napper every day good summons but uh to be honest we should have clicked onto that one then the year after was the one biggest kick in the teeth was of course piccolo you still do not have a driving license now this event this event was an event that once again we should have known we should have known this event was going to be a fod or a fake event or an event that was never going to happen and yes it never happened we never even got to sample any of these ones and the thing that made it worse is you can see the team put a lot of effort into making pictures the animating uh, and everything for it. it's a shame the, the worst thing if they could have done and put more salt on the wound would have actually made a video gameplay of it that would have made it even worse and more legit so once again you can see the bigger hint the 1st of april 2020 till the 2nd of april 2020 now when do legends ever have events for one day never so guys if you ever see those dates you know it's a fake so once again this event was mad so this event would have been uh, you would have to race each other and uh, pretty much try to get your license and as you can see you have alternative moves you learn to drive learn to train your car you could upgrade your car as well uh, you get these licenses there so you get your silver or white ones and your gold license um, you've got to collect them you've got to avoid obstacles you can see shallot and piccolo racing swerving uh, you've got turbo everything under the sun they put a lot of effort into pretty much uh throwing us under the bus here you could even play it in two directions you could even play it landscape or portrait so that that was another big giveaway that we should have really threw us off because this game never plays in two ways it's only the one way realistically um and it's oh, it was a really big heartbreaking thing and 
what you would have got as well, you would have got, of course, this unit, so this Piccolo in Sparking Rarity, which it was same. So uh, collect all licenses to get Sparking Character Piccolo Unlicensed Driver. Oh, how we was robbed. How we was robbed, guys. So that would have been, like I said, that would have been the one game. It would have been the PvP. PV, and they got this type of mode in the um, Kakarot game. Yeah, the Kakarot game. And, oh, it would have been great if they had this, to be honest. Personally, I was a bit disappointed when this one came out. But once again, we should have looked at the dates. They did put a lot of effort into this one. More effort than they put in the Napa Everyday one because that was a summons and this was an event. So it went on to that. So this comes to light now. What event is going to happen, if not any? Now, they have been talking a lot, a lot about, of course, the Tournament of Power, the next update. Now, guys, do not get me wrong. This is not an event that will, of course, just be here for April Fools because one it is dropping as of this video tomorrow this event should be dropping with the 3.00 update so i don't think they would actually put all this information on that for that as well and of course mention it in a videos and stuff video prior to this for it to be an april fools if it is well done man well done they have done us wrong uh, but this event looks really great but it just makes us come to think what is next because they are bringing all these new events out closer to april fool's day they have of course videos and stuff which should be clicking on sooner oh well as of this video is released probably after before this video has been released they of course have this 3.00 update which is going to be giving us a nice overhaul at the end of the month so the 30th or uh, yeah the 30th of the month or 31st i can't remember 30th i think it is and then of course the, fir the 1st of April is going to be April Fool's Day. So, guys, what do you think? Are we going to be getting a summons? Are we going to be getting a new event? Are we going to? Are they just going to forget about it because they have all of these maintenance? They may slip the event and or summons for the April Fool's Day in the uh, updates as they've been going along, but there has been no news. Now, guys, let me know in the comments below if you found out anything about April Fool's Day for, of course, Legends. And let me know which one of the two so far that we've had have been the biggest salt in the wounds for you lot. Me personally, as Piccolo, you still don't have a driving license. They could have at least, at least gave us that Piccolo. I know they gave us the um, clothing for Shallot as a compensation because they mentioned it all over Twitter and that lot, their official Twitter and whatnot. But they could have gave us the unit as well uh, as a BON, as well as the Goku as well, because that would have been absolutely amazing. But yeah, let me know, was it the Nappa Everyday Summons that really wound you up the first time round? Or was it the second time round where they've done it? And let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen for this year's April Fools. But guys, that is it for me today. Like always, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for more in the future. And until next time, peace.